I'm wearing my favorite Harry Potter shirt because I felt like it fit the spirit. So I decided to make a few videos about the prompts for the OWL Readathon that Book Roast um, hosts in April. I'm really, really excited for it, but I also thought that it could be super helpful if I looked through a lot of the books that I own just to give people some ideas of what they could read for the challenge. I am going to make a video where I go over the books that I'm personally going to read in April, but I also thought that this could be a fun way to do it. The only other thing I can say is like, I know there is a huge spreadsheet where like a bunch of the books are listed and I'm going to put all of these in there. But I also just thought it would be a fun video to make, um, mostly because I got to look through all of my books again. I have not read most of the books in these videos, um, so if I have read the book, I'll leave a little icon in, somewhere, probably up here, maybe over here, uh, over down here, who knows. I'll leave an icon somewhere, and for those books, you can know that like, I really thought that that was a good book. Like I super enjoyed it because I do not keep books that I don't like. Um, pretty much if it didn't get a four or a five star, it's out of my house. And I'm getting to a point now where I can't even keep four star books unless they were like super good, but they just were missing a little bit. Um, just because I have too many books and I need to get rid of a lot of them. In this one, I'm going to go over Ancient Runes and Care of Magical Creatures. There are a few prompts that I'm not going to go over because really that's based upon like your own personal opinion or like one of them for astronomy is to like read a book predominantly at night and literally that's like any book. <laughs> um, but these are going to be the ones that are a bit more concrete. So like they have to have a certain thing on the cover or they have to be about a certain thing to fit the prompt. So the first prompt was for ancient runes and it was to find a heart rune on the cover. Um, so essentially you need to find a heart on the cover. Y'all, I own something like 300 books, maybe more. I looked through all of them. I could only find four four that had hearts on the cover. I'm just, I'm honestly shook. The only four books I could find at all with hearts on the cover were Ace of Spades by Amanda Foody. You can see the hearts, like there are some hearts here on the card, and then there's like a heart on the back here. Uh, we Are the Ants has a very, very tiny heart technically on the back of another book, but I couldn't find anything else. So I was like, you know what? I think that counts. It just says a heart icon on the book. It doesn't say that it has to be like on the cover. It doesn't say that it has to be actually part of the cover. Um, then this adorable book, Love Monster, has hearts all over it. And technically, it would be a book on book reads, but like, just depends upon what level you want for your, um, for your things to count. But you know, technically this one would work. And then finally, there is Prior's War, and at the end of this, like, square here, there is a heart. So that one counts. Those were the only four. So for Care of Magical Creatures, the book had to have a beak on the cover. So I went through a bunch of mine and then I realized that I picked a bunch of books for birds, but not just the beak. So I'm going to, even though I'm surrounded by books, only show ones now that have beaks. Lair of Dreams has birds, but it doesn't have beaks. So you don't count. But here we go, Titan's Curse, Beak. Uh, the School of Good and Evil, Beak. All the Bright Places, Beak. The King of Crows, Beak. Oh no. The Goose Girl, there is a beak, it's just very tiny. 
Then the dawn has a beak. Native American myths and legends, beak. Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows both have beaks. All the birds in the sky and Siddhartha both have beaks. Uh, owl on the back of the Dao Pooh and this goose on Charlotte's Web, beaks. Uh, the birds at the bottom here of the little princess and the bird on Aesop's Fables both have beaks. This bird on the complete tales of Poe has a beak, but I don't know why you would want to read this during a readathon. Like, this seems like torture, but you know what? If you have a lot of free time, which we all seem to have a lot of free time right now, maybe you do. Um, this bird on the secret garden has a beak. Bird on why I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, beak. Bird on Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. Little beak on the nest, and a little beak on Pinocchio. There's a beak on the wicked. There's a beak on the wicked deep. Beak on Night Watch. Uh, beak on Gods and Heroes of Ancient Greece. Beak on the Victorian fairy tale book. And finally, there. Whoops. And finally, there is a beak on Wildwood Imperium, and there is a beak on Wildwood. Bunch of books with beaks. Oh wait, hold on. One more. Also, there's a beak on the Goldfinch. Don't know why you would want to do this to yourself, but you know, some people just... I want to give you all the options that you have. There is a beak on the Goldfinch. So there you go. That's all of the books that I own that I thought would fit the prompts for Ancient Runes and Care of Magical Creatures. Hit me up in the comments if any of these books were actually really good to you, um, or if you want to hear my opinions on any of the books that I've read. I will be happy to give you a review, um, and I hope you have a good reading day wherever you are. Bye!